The Outskirts, Chapter 7. Stairway to Heaven. I don't know what it means, but I support it. <laughs> I didn't know DGen was in the room. Abort, abort. <laughs> Get an E field or some spirit recovery. We need to save our money. Oh, now this is a ninja jam. Omnipresent. I do love a good present. Oh, that was so close. How did I mess that up? <laughs> oh, we got it. Who put spikes there? And why would you put spikes there? We did it again. Ouch. Hey man, get your gun out of my face. Why? Every time. Every time with the guns. Uh-oh. Some Contra style boss fighting. Don't touch the door. It hurts you for some reason. I mean, whatever. Their door can hurt me if they want to. I don't need it. Oh, shoot. That was real close. That was almost some spike eat in action. DJ, I don't mean to get into your personal business, but I think Bagel likes you. I ate the bullet with my face. It tasted great. Like frosted flakes. Oh my gosh, stop it. I didn't realize you were so, uh, Sundere. Ouch. Bullets. I don't know what that emote is that, uh, Dejan posted. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk over here. Oh, you followed me, huh? Can I keep him? He followed me home. <sighs> Don't say that about D-Gen. He does not look like a kangaroo in sunglasses. Shoot me, a jerk. Why? Why didn't that work? I was trying to do the bullet thing. Depends on what sunglasses you wear. Baggle, does DJ ever uh, come to you and is like, Honey, these sunglasses make me look like a, uh, a kangaroo. I don't own sunglasses. I have no use for them. I, I can't go out in sunlight because of the, you know, the incident.
You know the incident. We've talked about it on here before, right? I won't bore anyone with it. Now you getting it? Get wrecked, nerd. My sunglasses are built into my skull. Not in a cool cyberpunk way, but in a really awkward way. Oh no, you jerk. You son of a gun. You, ugh. Farfig Nugan. <laughs> Fancy. That's my real name is Fancy. My mom gave me these built-in sunglasses and told me not to let her down. Come on. Hey, the door stayed dead. That's cool. I'm all about doors staying dead. All right. Just moving along. Ow. That's my face. No! Okay, we're good. Why? Who gave him holy water? Alright, so we have an option to go to the left. Or to go down. Ah, uh, they got me. You. I hate you. And everything you stand for. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Tex. What's the point of all that? Backtrack for all that for no re- oh no. What's this? Secrets. Orbiter? I haven't seen that yet. We're buying it. Okay. I can dig it. Secrets. Ouch. Ooh, get orbited, punk. Oh, my orbiter. Haha. -ha. Just ninja around. No. Ouch. Oh, I hate you. All right, we're back on that orbit train. Oh, I thought that was the end. No, no. All 
All right, nothing cool over there. Oh, wow. I don't know what we did, but we did it. I almost ate that spike. Full... Full shaft and all. Full spike. Oh, the bugs are back. We haven't seen those guys in a long time. You love it. You love to see it. Well, thankfully the door stays dead. Don't drop gunk on me. Nobody wants to see that. That's like a mini door. Well, a mini boss door, I mean. There we go. This is like a Mega Man style boss entrance. Orbiter, spirit recovery. Hmm. Yeah, that dash move is powerful if you can control it. Oh no! Huh. Itchy neck. Oh. Fell into the bubs. Ass. Ah, skeletons. Who hides those in the bubbles? Oh, I gotta get out of here. Getting my butt kicked by bubbles. Hey. Mother flipper. Got lucky there. No, I didn't know the freaking things popped like that. All right. Falling short and falling into these death traps. It's not a good look. Ouch. How'd you hit me like three times, man? Okay, so when you dash and hit something, it kills your momentum. I think that's what we're learning here. I can understand that, I think. Ouch. Well, I'm glad my pain can bring you happiness, Papa Talk.
Curse you, Buble. And your music that everyone's mother likes. <laughs> I mean, you have to let it out physically somewhere, right? I'm okay. I'm having fun. It's a good game. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> I love you too, Papa Talk. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you uh get some good sleep. I hope the uh, medium didn't scare you so bad you can't uh, rest without having nightmares. I don't need to kill those things. Why don't I just keep running? Stupid momentum rule. <laughs> That's what I do. Horror games keep me regular. Better than fiber. Hey, hey. Ah, get out of here. No, why was that buggy there? That skull literally just had my name. <laughs> just to run. It was not the run. It was, in fact, not the run. Ouch, why did I dash? I'm not Mrs. Dash. Got him. Why? How can you give me that many skulls? I only need one skull and I already got it. Oh, hello. Hello. Thank you. Everything's coming up ninjas. Shablam. Oh, what's that? That's a... Yes, more health, please. All right, we can get an orbiter. Spirit recovery. Log 16. The essence and spirit appear to act in opposition through shared mechanisms. The former is a stillness of sorts that grounds a being in the physical world, while the latter is pure intent, materialized in a physical form. Log 12a. With essence extracted from a carrier vessel, I can bring forth new life. The extraction process is invariably fatal for the donor subject. The new vessel is left slightly unstable by this trauma. Log 12b. Spirit energy can be harvested for use in high power weapon systems. The donor survives extraction, but is greatly weakened. I can't get these. Hmm.
Hey. Get off me, bugs. No, bugs, get off me. Hey, we made it. <gasps> What's this? A kitty? What is going on in this room? Can you pet the cat? I mean, what is going on here? The music stops and you kill one. Oh, they don't hurt you. Is this just an Easter egg? Like, I don't... I don't know what I'm looking at here. Looks like it's just a dance party. I guess I'll leave them be unless I, uh, somebody tells me different. Oh, we can't destroy these. I thought they were like those trash boxes. Hmm. Aha. -ha. We did it. Get an orbiter or spirit recovery. I'm not too interested in either. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh no. Alright, I guess that was uh, maybe worth it. <laughs> Boss door. The door has been defeated. Guess it just lets us farm for some SP. Can you imagine if every time you want to go into a room and you had to beat up a door? Ouch, ouch. Oh no. We'll be okay. You jerks. Ouch. So we learned that's health, right? There we go. Hey, we made it. I think we came out ahead, right? What the? The stupid bubbles. Hmm. Can't break those open yet. Oh no. What a fool I am to just take leaps of faith like that. Oh 
Okay. Is there another secret? Nope. No more dance parties over there. Oh, shoot. I think I gotta go back around again. I'm a fool. That's okay. Now we know. I just want to see the whole map. Okay. Gonna do some hacking again? I was so close. I can sense the shrine. If only I could breach the firewall and open the door. That's what I'm about to do. Hey. Hey, uh. All right. Oh. All right, we're not doing so bad. Looks like that's it. Ow. That's not it. Hey, hey. We did it. We opened a door. Cool. Who knew opening doors was so much work? Block 412. When injected with essence, a synthetic vessel holds its form rather stably at first. However, due to gradual dissipation, it must eventually replenish itself by seeking out more essence. Log 557. I'm able to prolong my lifespan by injecting myself with essence, but at what cost? No matter. I need time. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Story stuff. Law 26. Her illness is progressing rapidly. I have done all I can. I am powerless. Lock 37. She never did approve of my research. Was she aware that synthetics cost human lives to produce? Lock 29. Her clan's stories are fascinating. They speak of their memories living forever, passing into the ethos. Is that the true power of essence? Hmm. Should I keep going up? Oh, fudge. Fudge, fudge, fudge. We got this. It doesn't look like you can... You can't. Can't wall cling after... Dang it. Huh, we never opened that before. Log 551. I have assembled a corpse of synthetics to help with the gathering of essence. Also, I enlisted one of the ninja clan, the Apparator, to aid me in this endeavor. I need to go back up, please. Log 66, uh, 622. The ethos may only be reached by those who carry the bloodline of the clan. It is, as legend has it, a place beyond time. The shrines are the key and the unlock limitless power. Log 653. The dragon shrine is overwhelming. It cannot be accessed for more than a few milliseconds at a time. The Falcon Shrine is more amenable to exploration. With the essence I have extracted from their clan, I may can open a pathway. Huh. Log 559. Apparator has completely abandoned his clan and agreed to go through the process of synthetic conversion. His life will be greatly extended, much like my own. Log 569, the apparator has been transferred to a synthetic body. His dedication to my daughter still drives him, even if he has lost all other vestiges of humanity. Log 614, I have dispatched a squad of advanced synthetics. They hunt the remnants of the clan as well as civilians. The people's sacrifice will not be in vain, but more essence is required. We read that already. 
Looks like we're going to meditate at the dragon. Because we have all the other things. Dragon Shrine, the Ethos. Uh-oh. Of all who can heed my call, only you remain. Yet your time is running out. Your fading essence will not be enough to carry out your purpose. I shall intervene and lend you a tiny sliver of my power to ignite the sparks of your final strike. All right, give it to me. Let's take it. Hit me with your best shot. Your skills have been enhanced beyond their old limitations. You can now jump higher, move faster, and charge each of your skills to release stronger attacks. Given this overwhelming might, the unworthy shall fulfill the clan's ancient mission to balance the flow of essence. To play your part, you must pay the ultimate price for your master's deliverance. You serve me in life and in death. Melgwen, I agree. I also wish for immortality. Overpowered. Is that true, huh? I don't feel any stronger. Oh, you can double jump now. Kinda. It's the old Ninja Gaiden style jump, double jump. Log 212, the doctors were of no help. With an essence containment field of my own design, I have stabilized her vital functions. But for how long? I must devote every waking moment to finding a cure. A cure for my daughter. My containment unit will not hold forever. I will need something far more powerful in the near future. Unfortunately, this means sacrificing more of her clan for their essence. There is no other way. It must be done. Log 611, the facility under the reactor is almost complete. Even if her body may die, her consciousness can be preserved in a synthetic vessel. Finally, a solution. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Close your eyes. Feel the essence flow around you. Concentrate. Manifest your will through your fingertips. Okay. That's it. Ready your sword. Drift into solitude and oneness. Gather your inner power and channel it into the blade. Ah, yeah. Most of the skills of our clan can be taught, but your innate ability is something special. I knew it from the day we met. The time of legend is nearly upon us. There is little time left. You must complete your training. Only then will you have the skill and power to heed the dragon's call. Hmm. Oh yeah. I'm all flashy now. You think they can be broken through now? Oh, these new, uh, yeah. Nah. Nothing. Nope, nope. This dragon's got nothing to offer us. There we go. Hmm. Uh-oh, I don't want to kill that guy. Your abilities are now beyond what we thought was your maximum potential. Hold attack to charge energy and release to unleash it. A charge strike at the security door will open it right up. 
Oh yeah, it did. SP dispenser, spirit recovery. Since all of your skills can now be charged for some extra oomph, be sure to explore their full potential. You're a lot more powerful now. Hmm. You say so. Nothing there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope you have a great day. See you next time on the Bleepcast.